Today's video was recorded by Fresno's Corrupt What's Up. Today I'd like to report on an issue that is prevalent in the fire service that used to be unacceptable. This is the way in which some firefighters approach the responsibility of doing our job. The nonchalant, uncaring, apathetic approach is unacceptable. Let me elaborate. The definition of a firefighter says, a firefighter is a first responder trained in firefighting primarily to control and extinguish fires that threaten life and property, as well as to rescue persons from confinement or dangerous situations. Firefighters typically undergo extensive training, which includes physical conditioning, fire suppression techniques, first aid, and hazardous materials handling. The work of a firefighter can be physically demanding and often involves working long hours often in hazardous and high pressure situations. Firefighters must be quick thinking, quick acting, and able to do well under stress, as they are often required to make split second decisions that can have a significant impact on the safety and life of those around them. Now, that being broken down for you, does it seem as if these firefighters are falling in line with what is required? That is the only question I'm asking today. The firefighters are slow to exit the fire engine once they arrive on scene. It takes too long to engage the wagon battery, not to mention the engineer should be hustling because they're using roughly a 5 to 600 GPM tip and they are going to run out of water in 60 seconds or less. These firefighters are not moving quickly. It is like they have no vested interest in doing the job well. Once again, the captain doesn't even have on his safety gear and isn't ready to perform. Flushing a fire hydrant is not a priority when someone's house slash livelihood is going up in smoke. The owner would not care if you get rusty water on it. The water is not going to plug up the engine's pump. Once they run out of water, we see the engineer just walking around without any hustle. They are not going to extinguish this fire until they get it opened up and put some water on the inside. This video makes me wonder if they are astute enough to know that. Our profession is really beginning to suffer from inexperience and apathy. By the time the firefighters on scene decide to engage on an interior attack, the building is a loss. In short, you have to earn the right to call yourself a firefighter. There is more to it than pinning a badge on your chest. There is responsibility and obligation. We must do better.